Hey guys, what's going on? We're back at our Advanced DCC uh, How-To Series. Uh, despite the name Advanced DCC, we're only on Part 2, and we are still keeping it kind of basic, but we are going to build from here, and we are going to work our way up. So today we're going to look at this guy here. It's nothing ready to roll, and what I'd like to show you guys is this feature right here. DCC Quick Plug Equip Feature. It comes on almost all the ready to roll series. There are some of the lesser expensive uh, GP38s that I've seen that are ready to roll but don't have that feature on it. And we're going to install this guy here. It's a Digitrax DH123D. It is a 9 pin uh, decoder. It comes with the harness and it runs roughly between $17 and $18. Sometimes you find them for a little bit less. Uh, I wouldn't pay that $20 mark that's up there though, so shop around, find the best price for it. And I'm going to put this guy down so I can show you how to do this. It's really, really easy. You guys will be surprised if you haven't done this before. All you got to do to take the shell out is remove the screws and remove the coupler boxes from this side and this side. And this guy just lifts out of here. Now this is a light board and they call that because it controls a light feature meaning the headlight on either side of the locomotive uh, being on regular DC power. Uh, sometimes this is referred to as a complex circuit because it is, it is an integrated circuit board. It has I think a couple of uh, diodes on there and, and whatnot. This part of the board which we're going to remove basically tells it to operate uh, as DC and regular DC power. So for tools, uh, you might need a pair of pliers, maybe a second set or a pair of channel locks because this part does require a little bit of force to pull out and uh, you don't want to damage it by trying to pull on the, the wiring harness. You want to use something <clears> that has a little bit of bite to it. So I've loosened it up already. Grab it here, but even better I'm going to try to turn around so you guys can see it there in the camera. Grab it here at the harness side of it, like so. Again, so you don't rip, rip those wires out of there. So once you get it loosened up and pulled out of there, hang on to it, put it in your parts box. You know, you don't need to throw it away or anything. But now you have an open harness. Now, this may or may not be a surprise to you, but it looks almost identical to the harness that comes with the DH123 decoder, uh, which is also the decoder that we used in my last series when we did this from scratch. All we're going to do, here's the decoder, is we're just going to pop that in, and I'm going to set the camera down because I can't do this one-handed, or maybe I can. Popped it in all the way, but that's pretty much it. You can leave it rest in here flat, freely. It's not going to bother anything. If you want to put a piece of electrical tape over this, that's fine too. You don't necessarily want to cover up these wires because you want to leave them a little free so they reach up to the lights on either side. But at the same time, you don't want them to interfere with your drivetrain or your flywheels. Once you get it in all the way, all you really have to do is put the shell on and give it a bench test. Alright guys, ready to bench test. Digitrax default address, as well as I think pretty much everyone else's, is an address of 3. And once you get that in, we'll have a look at the locomotive. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, light works. Direction seems to work. Let's give it some juice. There we go. Let's try the other way. Okay, the bench test works. All we have to do now is put the coupler boxes back on and it's ready to go. Okay guys, 
that's it for part two. Again, I know it's some pretty basic stuff, and we're going to build from here, and we'll see where it takes us. So, like I've said before, rate, subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, you know, leave them right down there, and uh, I'll get back to you guys as best I can, and uh, we'll go from there. So, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.